I do think that there are many avenues for legal reform, even in the United States, where our First Amendment protection for freedom of speech leads some people to believe that the government simply cannot act with anything that touches on media or news. And a fair amount of the book is devoted to showing that that's simply not true, that we have had government action throughout the history of the country that ranges from antitrust action, subsidies, regulation, you know, careful to avoid content and viewpoint regulation. Um, but yes, uh, the two that you mentioned uh, in my uh, analysis have no constitutional defect. One is to repeal Section 230 or to modify it so that it's conditional on some obligations that attach to the uh, internet uh, social media platforms. Um, obligations such as um, provide.